the Eddie Bauer High Route Grid Fleece Half Zip Hoodie. Let's review that. Happy New Year from Life In My Shoes Reviews and Such. This is the first review of the year and I will be talking about the Eddie Bauer High Route Grid Fleece Half Zip Hoodie. Per the norm, I'll tell you about my purchase and then I will tell you about the product often highlighted by the, uh, the company that makes it, in this case, Eddie Bauer, and then I will tell you my thoughts and opinions. First off is the purchase. As you can see, I am wearing the hoodie right now. I purchased it in a color that is called flax, which is a tan color. I purchased it in a size of extra large tall, which is often why I purchase Eddie Bauer items because they do offer tall. I purchased it for $41.99. <coughs> the caveat to that is I did leverage discounts that I had uh, with Eddie Bauer. I did leverage the free shipping, which was for uh, orders over $50, but it did require that I purchased an additional item to get the purchase at the $50 mark. Now let me tell you about the product. This product did retail for $69.99 in this color. The navy blue color, which was the color I preferred, actually retailed for $89.25. There is a markup on uh, these tops for tall. Uh, the original retail tag showed a price of $119. Materials. This top is made out of 95% polyester and 5% spandex. The description from Eddie Bauer. Lightweight grid fleece is the perfect combination of low bulk, high warmth, full mobility and maximum comfort that you want in a premium mid-layer for outdoor activities. The free heat polyester spandex offers four-way stretch and the soft grid-like texture on the interior allows excellent air circulation while keeping you warm. And here are the product features. Three-piece hood. Secure zip chest pocket. Raglan sleeves for unrestricted mobility. Thumb hole cuffs for easy layering. Drop tail hem for extended coverage. A classic fit, a universal fit. Not too slim, not too relaxed on the body. On eddiebauer.com, the top has 22 reviews with a four and a half out of five star rating. The lowest rating of any review is two stars. 95% of people would recommend this product. And the number one noted concern that was trending throughout several of the reviews was a concern about the fabric pilling. Now let's talk about my thoughts and opinions on this product. First is style. This is a light and functional mid-layer. That's the qualifier here. This is a mid-layer. Um, the con that I see in it is really how it was designed and it's designed to be a mid layer. I bought it uh, thinking it was gonna be more of an outer layer. So I bought something called the High Route Fleece Grid Full Zip Mock Neck, um, which is more of a jacket because it is a full zip. It has zippered pockets on the side, has the thumb holes, has the chest pocket, but it's a thicker material. I used that as my model of expectations for this and it really is horribly askew. This is a much thinner, much lighter layer than that other top that I purchased. 
Another con, the half zip. When it's zipped at different phases of height in the zipper, the fabric kind of lays awkwardly. There's no uniformity to how it should lay, what is, what is the right way for it to lay, what is the wrong way. It just kind of lays awkwardly. Speaking of the half zip, it was advertised as a half zip, so shame on me, but I would have much preferred a quarter zip. I know the half zip was probably designed so that it was easier on and off as a mid layer, but I have other quarter zips from Eddie Bauer and I really do kind of prefer, prefer that quarter zip. As a pro, I like having the chest pocket, but I will also confess that it's highly unlikely that I will use it. I have multiple tops that have that, that chest pocket and it is rare that I ever use that chest pocket for anything, but it's nice to have. It is zippered, so should you have a need, it is there. From a fit perspective, uh, one of the cons is the, the hems around the wrist and around the waist, the bottom hem. It is a little elasticy. So what that means is it creates a little bit of a blossom. So you can see kind of it blossoms around the wrist. Instead of just a flat lay, it creates a little bit of a blossom, which unfortunately around the midsection gives the appearance of greater volume. So it's not a sleek, lie down, a straight lie down the body. Um, and that is one of my cons with how it fits. Not a pro or a con, but just an acknowledgement, the hood fits tight. So not uncomfortably so, but it does fit tight. What you saw in the footage earlier is you could see the outline of my ears in the hood. Now it doesn't affect how the hood works. Uh, the hood actually is nice. It gives enough clearance of the face, enough warmth around the face. It covers a lot. So I have no real complaints about it, but it's just an acknowledgement that it is a tighter hood. So you just gotta set your expectations for that. And then another pro of the fit is the thumb holes. I like having the thumb holes. Uh, I have them on the other, the uh, full zip mock neck, and I use them all the time. Uh, I use these all the time now that I have this as well, especially in the uh, cooler season, but they are really easy to use. The material has a real comfortable seam around the, the thumb, so it's super easy to put on and to take off. Um, and atypically, I prefer using it the majority of the time that I wear the shirt. Um, it eliminates some of that bunch that I talked about with this with the seam when I have it in my thumb hole when I take it out of my thumb hole there's a little more blossoming at the wrist so the majority of the time when I wear it I will have my thumb holes uh, my thumbs in the thumb holes from a quality perspective I've been shopping at Eddie Bauer probably about 20 plus years. I have some pieces of clothing in my closet that are near that old. So Eddie Bauer does sell quality product. Is everything quality? I can't make that assessment, but what I can say is from a majority perspective, I encounter that Eddie Bauer carries a lot of quality products. Additionally, Eddie Bauer carries tall. So not only am I able to accommodate my height, being six foot four, I'm able to get tall tops. I'm also able to get tall tops that are quality and last a long time. As a pro, this top is no exception to that quality. While it does appear to be a thinner, a uh, lighter material than what my full zip mock neck is, it's still a quality product. Again, the intent is that this is a mid layer. I bought it with the intent that this was gonna be an outer layer. I probably will still be able to use it as an outer layer, but as designed, it is a mid layer, it is a thinner material. Uh, it has a lot of nice quality features to make it a really decent top. My primary usage for this top will be casual, but I could easily see myself wearing this for a cold weather run when I've got to bundle up a little bit. It is light enough and heavy enough to kind of be that outer layer. Um, we don't get terribly cold in the Southeast. Uh, and if we do, I'm gonna be on the treadmill. But when it's in that uh, 50, 30 to 50 range, uh, I can get away with maybe wearing a light outer layer. 
From a value perspective, as I mentioned, I purchased this top for $41.99, leveraging discounts, free shipping, etc. I think based on how this is designed, I think that is a good value for it. Now, if it was a heavier material, like the full zip mock neck, and it had some pockets, either like a traditional hoodie pouch pocket in the front or side pockets with zippers like the full zip mock neck has, I could see it getting into that 69 to 89 range that it is uh, currently listed at as retail. But based on what it is now, and I know that the fabric is kind of this proprietary uh, heat and cool fabric, but even with that, I think the 40-ish dollar range is really the sweet spot for getting something like this. Now, I do pay a premium for tall. I'm gonna pay that in everything. That's just disappointing that you have to do that, but that is norm across the board with most retailers. Overall, this is a reasonable mid-layer slash outer layer for my environment. Now, if you live in the Northeast, this is most definitely gonna be a mid-layer. This would not be an outer layer. But for me, given the kind of weather we have, this is a great outer layer. Again, it'll be really good for wearing in casual, but also can serve the purpose when I do want to go for a run or a hike or something outdoors. This definitely could be a kind of top to accommodate that. There you go, that is my review of the Eddie Bauer High Route Grid Fleece Half Zip Hoodie. That's a mouthful, but just know it's a high route, it's a half zip, it's a hoodie. Uh, that's my review. Tell me what you think. Have you purchased any Eddie Bauer products? Are there any others out there that are purchasing Eddie Bauer tall products? Let me know your thoughts on their products. Have you tried anything and really enjoyed it? I've purchased probably four or five different things this last year and they're tall. Uh, two sweatshirts, uh, the full zip mock neck that I talked about, the convector sweatshirt that I reviewed last year. All of those have been great winter purchases. Years ago, I used to purchase some of their button down and dress shirts, and I really would like to start exploring into some of that from a tall perspective as well. But for now, these are the purchases that I've made. I really do enjoy this top. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up and like, and I'll talk to you soon.